was a watershed moment in the campaign to protect BC's rivers from a gold rush of private power projects. Today, across British Columbia, there's over 600 creeks and rivers that have been staked by private power corporations. We stand here together today, united, standing up for our rivers, our wilderness, and our democracy. Over 1,100 concerned citizens packed the high school gym in Caslow, B.C., more than the town's population of 1,000, to tell the provincial and federal governments and a private power company just what they thought about a proposed river diversion project in their backyard. The government on one side, the proponent on the other, sit here and pretend to be separate. The occasion was a series of public meetings to comment on the environmental assessment application for the largest proposed project in the region. Montreal-based construction giant Axor Group, linked to the wealthy DuPont family, wants to build a 125-megawatt five-river diversion project in the Purcell Wilderness northeast of Kootenay Lake, featuring 16 kilometers of 4.5-meter-wide tunnels blasted through mountain rock, a 92-kilometer transmission line, and many kilometers of industrial roads. When the company and provincial government refused to hold the meeting in the region's biggest city, Nelson, Many made the trek to Caslow instead. Prior to the meeting, hundreds rallied outside the school to hear from a series of speakers, including local politicians, First Nations, and conservationists. Threatened bull trout, grizzly bears, mountain goats, and other threatened and endangered species, including mountain caribou, are at risk. And we stand here together to speak for our rivers and to speak for the wildlife who don't have the voices. And it's moments like this that I want to say that I am honored to be your MLA because you show up. It was a showing reminiscent of other recent packed meetings to do with controversial projects around the province. The strength in numbers. We see what happened at the Pitt River project that was stopped in the lower mainland. The three-hour comment meeting was highly charged from the start and saw no one from the public speaking for the project. The point is that we're actually going to take a loss and that the power is not even going to be used in British Columbia at all. I totally oppose this project. I totally oppose the process which we are going through. It is a farce. The provincial government and the federal government are not listening to us. They have not consulted the First Nations people whose traditional territory this is. What is it about no that you don't understand? Another impressive gathering in nearby Meadow Creek the following evening saw continued passionate opposition to the proposal. I grew up here and spent my whole life in these mountains in this area, and I've never seen anything as beautiful as this area. We are going to be taking water that leave the river basically looking like it was before in a natural condition. Except when the water is greatly... Hold on, please. May I answer this question? I would really appreciate that. In reality, this is private power for private profit using public resources. We're going to drill through here in the Burnham Creek. Now this is the mount mountain goat winter grouse, this, this knoll here. While in town, I journeyed to Glacier Creek, one of five involved in the proposal, to visit with local horse ranchers who make it their home. The Grabowskis have been in the thick of this battle for years now. We can all work together, we can make this happen. And yesterday in Caslow was so inspiring because there were over a thousand people there, which is over what the village holds as people. And people from Nelson came, people from Creston, people from everywhere. Coming together, hopefully we can save this place because what they want to do is outrageous. It's just insane. We will, we will block The week's you. events breathe new life into this province-wide movement following a provincial election that saw the chief proponents of the private river power program, the BC Liberal Party, hold on to power. The people in the Ashloo said, no way, and the local government said, no way is this IPP going through. The Liberals came out with Bill 30, and they took the public control away. They took our voice, and we're taking it back. Despite the absence of meaningful public consultation since Bill 30, British Columbians seem intent on voicing their larger concerns about this program. Meanwhile, the battle continues to heat up on other fronts. 
A series of embarrassing revelations for the industry and government have recently made front page news and communities around BC continue to come out in larger numbers against the BC private energy plan. How do we like our rivers? The message here to the private power company and governments was unmistakable. Folks in the Kootenays aren't having any of this project or the BC private energy plan. And in their commitment to educate themselves about this issue and show up as they have, they continue to set an example for the rest of the province in how to mobilize to protect BC's rivers and public energy system. From the spectacular Kootenays, this is Damian Gillis for Save Our Rivers Society.